What's up, Warlord Squad? My name is Anime Warlord, and welcome back to the channel. Now, as many of you guys already know, this past Saturday, I went to Fan Expo Chicago. Wow, did they improve themselves? Because I remember going to that con in 2016. Well, it wasn't known as Fan Expo Chicago back in the day, because back in those days, it was known as Wizard World Comic Con Chicago or Wizard Con Chicago. It had a whole lot of nicknames. And while at Fan Expo Chicago, I have this mystery Godzilla box, and before we get into it, I want to show you the other stuff that I collected at the con. Now, if I collected a whole lot more stuff, this would have been a haul, but I'm just going to be focusing on this box here. Now, before we get into the Godzilla mystery box, I have some other stuff that I want to show you first as like a little appetizer before we get into this mystery box because I'm just as anticipated of seeing what's in this box as much as you guys. Okay, so first and foremost, I have this really sexy, really dope Dark Magician Girl binder and... I am now putting my TCG versus OCG collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards inside this binder. And do you want to know what the breast of And do you want to know what the best thing is about this binder, despite this being sexy as hell? There is a zipper. So that way, the cards are much more protected. Yep, here they are. Every single one of them in my collection so far. And there's still plenty more pages to be filled. Because I'm not going to stop collecting OCG Yu-Gi-Oh cards anytime soon. And as well as collecting their English counterparts, so that way people will know the difference of the card arts in Japan versus the ones in the West. And the last thing that I have for this year's Fan Expo is a whole bunch of autographs. I managed to meet three of my childhood heroes in one single day. All right, first and foremost, we have Dante Bosco, who is also known as Prince Zuko, Rufio from Hook, and of course... The American Dragon, Jake, Long, and so many more awesome characters. Now, a lot of people wanted to get his autograph as Rufio and Zuko, but I decided to get one of the most underrated gems from the 2000s, and that is American Dragon, Jake Long. Now, I wanted to meet him at C2E2 this year because he was there as well, but holy shit, his line was so goddamn long because his line basically started to where his booth was all the way towards the end of where the artist alley began. Yeah, you can imagine that, can you? So luckily for me, I finally got my chance to meet him again at Fan Expo because I think I said in my C2E2 2023 haul that maybe I'll get my chance to meet him at Fan Expo. If I said that, Awesome on me, I predicted my own future, and if I didn't, well, I'm saying it now. I finally got a chance to meet him. He was a really cool, chill, laid-back guy, and I asked him the question that I was dying to ask him. So I said to him, hey, Dante, if you don't mind me asking, what was it like working with Robin Williams? Now, you don't have to answer that if you don't want to, because I understand he was a dear friend of yours, and working with Robin Williams is something very personal to you. And he said, I don't mind at all. So he just basically told me that working with Robin Williams was like a dream come true. And he literally was the nicest guy you can ever hope to meet in life. And I had one job to do when I was working on Hook with him. I had to keep a straight face. Now, even though it's been nine years since Robin Williams passed away, I still miss my friend more than anybody could ever know. And Dante Bosco started to tear up a little bit, and I said, do you need a hug, Dante? And Dante said to me, bring it in, brother. And I got his fiance because his fiance was also with him, all emotional, and I said, do you need a hug, too? And I gave her a hug just as much as I did for Dante Bosco. And I asked Dante, how did he feel after that? And he said, I feel so much better. Thank you very much. I really, really needed that. And he just basically said to all the fans who are in line waiting to meet him, 
he said, Bangarang for Alex! And then the next thing you know, all of the fans just basically said, Bangarang Alex! And it was just basically a huge, huge, huge ordeal when I met Dante Bosco. You were awesome, man. Hope to see you again sometime in the future. And of course, on his autograph, he says, Alex, dragging up, Jake Long, Dante Bosco. All right, guys, before I showcase the next autograph, I have one quick question to ask you all. Did you grow up with Blue's Clues? If the answer is yes, and if you're as old as I am, then you more than likely remember the original host of Blue's Clues, Steve Burns. Well, he was at Fan Expo Chicago this year, and I know a good friend of mine who lives out in Kentucky. She got her chance to meet Steve Burns at one of her favorite conventions, and now I got my chance this past Saturday. Here it is, guys. That is Steve Burns' autograph. And just like Dante Bosco, he was a very chill, laid-back person. And you would expect him to be sort of like the character Steve that he portrayed on the show. But no, he's very chill, very laid-back, and he's also a very big nerd. He's very big into Star Wars, as he told me, because I said, Wow, Steve, you have a Star Wars hat. Are you a big Star Wars guy? And he said, Yes, I am. And I said, oh, that is super cool. So that gives you all the more reasons to not only love Blue's Clues, but love Steve Burns in general. And he says on his autograph, to Alex, you sure are smart, Steve Burns. Uh, and when I was in line to go meet Steve Burns, I was in tears, you guys. Tears! Absolute tears! I was crying tears of joy, and some other Blue's Clues fans noticed I was crying, and one of them said to me, hey, dude, are you okay? I'm like, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good. And do you want to know what's funny? A lot of my friends back in the day, well, I'm no longer friends with them anymore because they are long gone because I have removed them out of my life. I remember bonding through some of my quote unquote friends with Blue's Clues, but my fondest Blue's Clues memories is just basically watching the original host, Steve, with my dad. Anyways, so I remember saying to my friends who would come over and watch Blue's Clues with me or play video games, I remember saying to them, hey guys, you know, someday I'm going to meet this guy. And they all thought I was talking out of my ass. And they just basically said, oh, please, Alex, you're, you're never going to meet this guy. You know, get real. Just basically get your head out of storybook world or, or get your head out of the clouds and just basically focus on reality. You're hanging out with us now. You're never going to meet this guy. And at, at the time, I will admit, it did hurt. But now the fact that I finally got my chance to meet Steve Burns in person, and if I still had those toxic people in my life, I could just basically show them the autograph and just basically say, what now, bitches? I actually met Steve Burns. So who's talking out of their ass? You guys are. But all jokes aside, I don't rub into people's faces of like who I gotten a chance to meet in my lifetime because that's just not what I do. Because if you do do that kind of shit, then you're not really a nerd. You're just basically an egotistical asshole. All right, guys, here is the last autograph and then we can get into the unboxing. The last autograph that I managed to collect at Fan Expo Chicago, I almost said Wizard World because I'm so much used to calling it that, is the one, the only, the biggest autograph that I have in my collection because this definitely outbeats John Swayze's autograph as all for one from My Hero Academia. It's the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, the voice of Mario, Luigi, Waluigi, and various other characters in the Mario video games. Charles Martinet. It's, it's huge! Yeah, man, Charles Martinet, dude, was very, very energetic. And when I was next in line to go and meet him, I blew him away with my Mario impression, and I said, It's a me, Mario! Wahoo! And he says, What are you talking about? I'm a Mario. And I said, Oh, there can only be one Mario, and that is I. And he says, Oh, I'm going to start pointing fingers like the Spider-Man pointing meme. <laughs> yeah, he, he was absolutely great. And you know, out of all of these three autographs, well, obviously I love the ball, but... I feel like meeting Steve Burns, Dante Bosco, and of course, Charles Martinet, I feel like these opportunities only come once in a blue moon. Once in a blue moon. And on Charles' autograph, he signed a whole bunch of stuff. Right here, he says, Wahoo! Super Alex, let's go! Superstar, 
your pal Mario, Charles Martinet. Now, will there be any autographs bigger than Charles Martinet's? I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see until I meet more people. And I know I said after Fan Expo Chicago, I was going to do an update of my autograph collection. But honestly, I think I'm going to wait until it is towards the end of 2024 next year. So be on the lookout. All right, everybody. You all have been patient. It's time to get into an unboxing that is monster sized. Okay, before we see what's inside this wonderful box, let's just check out this box here for a moment because the details on this are so fucking cool. Like, look at that. There's Mechagodzilla firing his laser eyes and there seems to be fireworks in his background. Wow. There's Mothra with a bunch of Sakura blossoms. There's the king himself. And there is King Ghidorah. Wow. Four different kaijus on one box. Oh, 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 wow. Look, look at the top. Dude. Oh, man. That geisha doesn't even look, in, look scared at all. Like, she's just like, eh, I've seen worse shit. <laughs> all right, I'm going to open it from here for starters. And now I'm also gonna open it here because I don't wanna damage the box too much because like this box is so fucking beautiful, dude. Ready for opening. Well, almost. Seems like we gotta open it on both sides so that way the lid will come off a little bit more easier, I believe. Oh, we got one more flap <laughs> right by Mechagodzilla, all right. Now, now she's ready to open. Yeah? Yep, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you sly dogs. You, you just want to keep me guessing. All right, got that off. Whoop. All right, I've got this bad boy open, and now I'm going into this completely blind, so I'm gonna just take out one item by one. And so I'm gonna start off with this. Oh, It's a cute little mini Godzilla figure. Oh my God, that's adorable. It's uh, UB's figurines. And here are the different figurines that you can All collect. right, collect all 10. One of 10 designs inside. Let's see, we have 1954 Godzilla. 1954 Godzilla again with him destroying the train. I swear to God, that is one of the most iconic Godzilla scenes ever where he just destroys the train. 1995 Godzilla, AKA Burning Godzilla from Godzilla vs. Destroya. Oh, that looks cool. Look at that, there's Burning Godzilla like destroying a building. Whoa, GMK Godzilla, yeah! There's 2001 Godzilla again, where he was fighting off against Baragon. Oh my god. Final Wars Godzilla. Another Final Wars Godzilla. And these two are 2014 MonsterVerse Godzillas. Oh, oh man. I want to open this right now. All right, let's see who we get, boys. Oh, looks like I am going to have to need a scissors. Or maybe, um, can I open it on the other side? Nope, C come on, Yubi, you ain't playing fair. All right, I got my scissors. I'm just gonna make a small snips so that way we can open easier. Okay, now that we got our small snips, now we can open it easier. <laughs> All right, who did we get? Who did we get? Oh, yes! I got the one where Godzilla destroys the train. That is so cute. I love it. 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 Yeah, dude. That, that's epic. That's epic and adorable. I love it. Yubi, 
You knocked this out of the ballpark. And I cannot wait to collect more of these because I want to collect all 10 figures someday. So I'm reading this right now, and it's a finger puppet? Oh, wow. Not only is it a really cute mini figurine of Godzilla, but they're also cute little finger puppets as well. Very nice. What's next in the box? All right, let's see. Oh my God, that is cool as hell. Wow. Godzilla pins with Godzilla and Mothra. How amazing. Wow. And this is from the Heisei Godzilla vs. Mothra. Very cool. And there's the movie on the back. Nice. Nice. I'm going to keep these pins in their plastic for now because I'm going to wait until I get either a cork board or maybe something else to put my pins on. But seriously, though, guys, that is really cool. I love it. All right. Anything else? Hmm. I feel something big. I'm going to pull that one out. What, what's this? Oh, wow, wow, a Godzilla ramen bowl, yo, Ooh. oh my god, wow, 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 oh, oh my god, guys, I love the design, look, look, look at this, oh, that is so fucking cool, I know I'm going to have a good time eating my ramen out of this one. Itadakimasu! All right, what else? Oh, I know what this is. Oh, yeah! A Godzilla heat-changing mug. And this is from the MonsterVerse King of the Monsters. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Oh! Oh my god, guys, I feel like I'm absolutely going to cry right now. <laughs> wow. Just absolutely wow. I am one happy nerd indeed. I am one happy nerd. Next. Oh, that's cute. That's a little Godzilla air freshener. Oh, and it smells like vanilla too. Nice. Very nice. All right. Next. Oh, oh, wow. All right. A Godzilla fleece blanket. That's going to look really good on my couch. Oh, my God. Oh, Ooh, and it feels so soft, too. Ooh! And the box is empty. I got to say, I am very satisfied with what I got in my Godzilla mystery box. Now, when I get another one of these, will I get the same items or will I get other items? I don't know. I guess I'll have to wait and see until I purchase another one at a future event. I definitely have to get another one of these the next time I go to Fan Expo or, oh, they also sell them at C2E2 as well. Maybe at C2E2 I'll get a Blue's Clues one or maybe I might get, if they have a Thomas the Tank Engine one, I'd be down by that one. Or maybe a Cowboy Bebop one, because I think that was also possible. I don't know. I'm going to have to wait and see until I go to those events in the near future. Because I don't know if I'm going to those events or not. But stay tuned for um, the convention announcements in my future videos. All right, you guys. So that just about wraps things up for today's video. If you guys like today's video, give it a like. If you guys have anything to say about today's video, give it a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell for future nerdy videos when they come out. You guys already know who I am. I'm Anime Warlord. Stay nerdy. Stay safe out there. Take care of yourselves. Have a great day and have a great evening, whatever your time zone may be. And I'll see you guys again in the very next video. Peace out. Long live the king of the monsters, Godzilla!
Originally, I was going to have a burger for dinner, but now because of this, I'm having ramen tonight.